Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Alright, uh, today we're finishing up our tutorial on chart sheets. If you don't know what a chart sheet is, it's when uh, right now Excel defaults to embedding your charts. That's where you have a chart within a worksheet. Previously, Excel used to create a chart sheet for each one of your charts when you created them and it was a, just a chart on a worksheet all by itself. Let's go ahead and if I right click on this chart uh, and I do move chart, I get this dialog box and I want to create a new chart sheet or a new sheet called chart one. Now you'll notice uh, what Excel's done is it's created a chart sheet called chart one. It has put this uh, chart within um, the chart sheet. Now most people only use these for printing charts because uh, when they're full um, all the way out on the chart, uh, out to the edge of the chart sheet, um, what you find is it's a lot easier to just print one hard copy uh, paper page uh, that shows this chart and uh, makes it a lot easier uh, when printing as opposed to trying to do that within uh, the Excel embedded chart. Now the problem is, is some people want multiple charts. What if I want to print, say, uh, three charts on this page? Um, and if I come over here and I right click on revenue and I do move chart, uh, once again I get that dialog box. Now it says new chart sheet. Well, I don't want it to be a new one and I never knew this. If you check object in, it says chart one here uh, becomes an option and I can click on OK. Now um, the good and the bad about this, or probably the bad, notice rev this pie chart has been inserted within, it's an object within this uh, column chart so don't really like that. I wanted to actually make it two separate ones and wanted to uh, size them however I wanted. Uh, once again if I go ahead and do move chart for this third one and pick chart one, click OK, it's embedded it within um, sheet one again so it's not or, uh, the first uh, chart that I have. I can't leave that window, I can't uh, get it outside of that. So not exactly what I wanted to do but there actually is a way uh, that you can create a chart sheet with multiple charts. So let's go ahead and recreate these charts real quick. Um, so there's our first one which was a sales, revenue was a pie chart if I remember correctly, and volume we had another uh, column chart on that as well. Um, so now we've got the three different charts here that have been created. Now the trick to being able to add multiple charts to a chart sheet is you want to come out and create a blank chart sheet and you do that by selecting a cell out in your worksheet that is just blank and has no data around it. Then press your F11 key. You'll notice it's created chart 2 chart sheet. It is completely blank. If I go back to my sheet 1 and I move these charts, I right click on it, do move chart, and I'm going to make it an object in chart 2. Click OK. Let's go back and do the next one. Right click on it, move chart, uh, a sheet in chart 2. And the third one, volume, move chart uh, within chart two, click OK. Notice um, even though they're kind of overlapping each other, they actually are not uh, embedded within the chart as an object within the chart like it was happening to us previously. So once again, that trick is uh, go and create a blank chart sheet um, from uh, your Excel worksheet by pressing F11. And then you can move the charts individually in here. And you can move a size and align these however you like, but uh, that is the trick to adding multiple charts to a chart sheet. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com. Also, please subscribe to my video channel so that you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.